But here I am Next to you The sky is more blue In Malibu Next to you Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button below. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. So today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. This is a little bit collective, not really. I got this stuff a while ago, but I did show one of these things as a review and I got the other two in the mail later on that week. I just haven't had time to film. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got from the holiday collection slash like fall collections at Sephora. I got three things, but they contain more stuff, that makes sense. So the first one you guys have already seen and I've already done a review on it. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested. And this is the Sephora Favorites Superstars Everyday Must Haves. So and it looks like this. It contains all of these products right here. So you get a lot of good size sample sizes as well as full size products. So it comes with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, a Too Faced Melted Lipstick, which I love the shade so much. It looks so nice on me. It's going to look really nice on a lot of people just because it's like that really nice rose tone nude. And I guess I should show you guys a little bit closer. Um, it also comes with a full-size beauty blender, which I feel like this is smaller than the beauty blenders that I've seen people use on tutorials and stuff like that. Maybe if you're familiar with a beauty blender, let me know, but I feel like I see a lot of people using this and it looks huge compared to their compared to this one. So I don't know if they come in different sizes, but this is what it looks like compared to my face. So this is the beauty blender. That one is $26 on its own. It comes with a Kat Von D powder which I love and I'm super excited to be using. I'm trying to finish my Laura Mercier one but I still have a lot of products so I might just kind of switch back and forth to this one. This is a nice translucent powder. It comes with a YSL Too Chiclot which I have been using like crazy lately. It's that concealer right there. It comes with an Urban Decay. My mascara just fell out. <laughs> comes with an Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and it's a pretty good size. I've been using that a lot lately too and I really like it because it has like cooling effect on your face. It comes with an Anastasia Brow Wiz full size. It comes with a Marc Jacobs eyeliner here. It comes with a NARS Cruella lip product right there. And then it comes with a Benefit Hula Bronzer as well as a Bobbi Brown what is this like cream shadow type deal and it also comes with a makeup forever loose translucent powder as well translucent powder no it's a silica powder so it comes with a lot of stuff and it's a really great value I have been using a lot of products from the set I've been trying to keep everything sort of in its place so I can show you guys for this haul video but I've definitely been using this stuff especially this Too Faced Lippy and the settings for I've been using like these three pretty much every day since I got this kit. So I think that this is a really awesome product and I highly recommend it. This is another mini review. Oh my gosh. Um, I highly recommend this as like a gift if you have a makeup lover in the family. I think that everybody will enjoy those products. I also got the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I have been, I was stocking this online until its release date. I did pick it up on the release date. I don't remember when that was. I believe it was like the middle of September or something like that. And honestly, I've been using this palette like ever since. I believe this was about $85 Canadian, which is probably one of the most expensive palettes in my collection, I believe. One of the most expensive, yeah. So. It looks like this. She is beautiful. The colors in here, I've literally been using this non-stop ever since I got it. So, looks like this. And it just has a lot of pretty, like, warm colors, which I like. And it has some glittery finishes, some, like, duochromes. It just has a wide variety of stuff. You can do so much with this palette. You can go super super neutral if you want you can go super super neutral if you want with like the lighter shades you can just amp it up like crazy 
with the deeper shades and it just has everything you would ever want in a palette and yeah I just really highly recommend this and I'm gonna say it I actually like this better than the modern renaissance palette don't hate me I I mean I better like this better than the modern renaissance palette because the modern renaissance palette was like cheaper than this I believe they're I believe that one was like 50 something dollars and this is like 85 so I better be liking this you know a little bit more and I do I just find that the colors are so vibrant I am wearing the modern renaissance palette today I do switch it up and go between the two but I just wanted to show you guys sort of a comparison and the brush is probably gonna fall out okay so this is the modern renaissance and this is the food of beauty oh my gosh I can't do this okay let's Let's make this work. <laughs> okay, so you have the Modern Renaissance on the bottom and the Huda Beauty on the top. So you just have a better variety of shades, I find, but they're definitely very, very similar. If you have the Modern Renaissance palette already, then you can still definitely get the Huda Beauty one because I feel like it has a lot more, you know, purple tones and a lot more dual chrome shades, but you know, some of those red tones, they are very, very similar on both palettes. So I love both these palettes. Like I've had my Modern Renaissance for over about a year, less, no, I've had this less than a year. I got this in like February. And so I've had this for a while. I also with the packaging, I prefer the Huda Beauty one because it has a bigger mirror. It's just, I don't know. I just really am a huge fan of this palette. Highly recommend it if you're kind of iffy on whether or not it's worth it. I will tell you it's worth it. <laughs> the very last thing in this haul, it was pretty short, but I did like mini reviews on each thing, sorry. But uh, yeah, the last thing in here is this, and it's the Tasha set for the holidays. Tasha actually has a bunch of sets on their website that just released a couple days ago. They're more expensive, I feel like, and I'd rather be ordering from Sephora anyways. So this was $72 Canadian and it has $134 value, which is awesome. So it has two full size products and two deluxe size products. And I have been using this cream. I put it in back in its packaging so I can show you guys while it's all nice and stuff. But I have been using this cream nonstop since I got this. I've been using this for about... I want to say two weeks now a really good sample size and I love this cream I think this is gonna be my winter staple because it's a little bit more moisturizing than my Laneige one it's still light enough so it doesn't bring me out and make me super oily which I love so it looks like this like yeah I've been using this like insane so yeah I just I love this cream it smells like very like a herbal type smell it's really nice and refreshing it also comes with a lip balm which i haven't tried yet this lip balm is hella expensive and this is full size i think that because there's actually 24 karat gold in here supposedly so i think this lip balm alone is 30 something dollars which is insane because it's not that big it's pretty thin but i don't know if it's good then it's good it's then it's worth it right it also comes with a mask, which I have not tried yet, and it's the Violet C Radiance Mask. And it is a good sample size as well, like it's pretty big. This probably would last me about a month or more if I was to use this uh, consistently. I just heard that this mask is very moisturizing, so for me with oily skin, I would do this probably once a week in the colder months. It's not super cold out right now, so maybe I'll wait a little bit. It also comes with a full-sized facial spray right here. Have not tried this yet. It's supposed to be a dewy mist and you're supposed to do this before or after your makeup or both before and after your makeup. So yeah, this is also full size and I think it's around 30 something dollars as well. So this set is just definitely worth it by far. And it was just worth it for me to get this cream because this cream is amazing. So that is pretty much it for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more hauls for sure. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Well, let's let things come out of the woodwork. I give you my best life. Tell you all my best life. See me rolling. Showing someone else love. Dancing with our shoes off.